for Virgo for November. We got, let's see, Jupiter in Aries, which is the first house. Uh, this is actually in regards to your, your intuition, your, um, the things that make you who you are, your personality, the things that comprise who you are as a person, uh, the things that drive you to take action, the things that spark you to, to initiate. Um, so this is a good time. So Virgo, that could mean that you need to take action or that could mean that you need to find something that you're passionate about that pushes you to find action. We also have Mercury in Libra, which is the seventh house. And this is for influence. So This is a good time to really focus and ground yourself, not to have your fears influence the type of stability that you want to have. Now, the seventh house is about relationships, partnerships. Um, so there could be some anxiety around that. That could be some there could be some fears around your relationship life right now. That should that could be paranoia in regards to the other people who are around you. Um, but getting very strongly not to allow your fears to dictate your connections and I say that because look at that snake and look at how the couple Adam and Eve is actually fearing the worst to occur so you want to make sure you are manifesting positive energy in your connections friendships etc right now what else we got for you so we have Saturn and Capricorn 10th house and this is for riches very happy to see this for my Virgo gang. So, of course, there's a lot of focus on your finances right now, specifically on what your future is going to look like. Look at this big star here. It's almost like this person is walking their path with everything that they have that they need. Uh, Alpha and Omega. So they have the energy of spirit. They have the things that they feel is a big part of what they need to be successful or what makes them them to go towards that star energy. So walking a path that maybe is a little bit uncertain to you because you can't see the other side of this path, but knowing that you are guided, you are watched over by spirit, God, however you resonate here. We also have the moon in Pisces, which is the fourth house. Uh, this is about your friendships, family. This is about your connections. Um, and the things that you protect. So friendships could be very important for you during November. You could see friendships evolving, some evolving out of your life and some coming back into your life because you have changed Virgo. So that means everything around you will change or is about to change. All right. I like that energy. So let's go into the tarot here. So what's coming towards Virgo? for November. What's coming towards Virgo in November? We got the Empress. So I put this card down and I said, money, honey. That was the first thing that came to my brain for you, Virgo. So abundance. There's a strong focus on abundance as far as what is coming towards you in November. I see you're manifesting that. You're really trying to be in your feminine energy, no matter if you're a man or a woman or however you identify yourself. This is a receiving energy here. So I'm getting the energy that you may feel like all those seeds that you planted over the year, it's time for them to pop. It's time for them to show, improve, or you're going to make some changes here. We got the eight of wands. So communication could be... I'm getting, it could be very heavy right now, but it also could be very challenging. This is a very intense energy for you right now, Virgo. You could be taking the things that people are saying incorrectly. You could be taking it correctly and then acting on it. I'm getting a very strong sense of you understanding uh, the importance of November, the importance of this year about to end and really evaluating who you want to take with you or not. And we got the tower here. So some people aren't going to make it on the boat. You are ending certain things, certain connections. And we have temperance. Anything that you feel that's in your life that stops you from being as great as you know you can be or you are wanting to be in your future, you're cutting that out. 
You may be communicating this. You may not. I'm getting in a lot of cases, people will know 100 <laughs> percent why you don't mess with them anymore. Or others, you could just be walking away and finding your healings. And then we got the Ten of Swords here. So again, you are cutting off so you can transform. I get this energy of feeling like maybe a lot of people, places or things are dead weight. And you wanting to relieve yourself because you know you have to get rid of this dead weight to be in your Empress energy. All right. Who's coming towards Virgo in the month of November? Who is coming towards Virgo? We got the page of pentacle energy here on the seven of pentacles. So someone who, someone who wants to give to this, I do see that this person is taking their time. This person is in your environment. I kind of get this person is like waiting patiently back, counting the days, counting the money, counting the hours in which they can actually come towards you. Look at my face. Mm. And who we talking about? We talking about the Knight of Cups here. So you could be dealing with the water sign energy. It does appear someone wants to bring love towards you. It also appears as this is a person you had a disconnect with in the past. Yeah, Ace of Wands here. This person has found some type of newfound passion or vigor or courage to come towards you. That's what I'm getting here. What does this person want? What does this person want with Virgo? In the month of November, Ace of Pentacles. They want to plant a new seed. They want a new start. They feel like they have healed from whatever happened in the past. Look at the Pisces reading because I'm getting very similar vibes to that reading. Um, and Pisces did come out in your Oracle. Um, it's almost like they feel like they're healed enough to give this another try. What happened in the past between you and this person? Look at that. The Hermit. That's you. Five of cups. Ten of cups. Knight of wands. So Virgo, in the past, you felt a lot of regret here. You could have even went through a depression because of this person. You were in love with this person. You had unconditional love with this ten of cups. I see this person was a playboy f boy f girl f entity i do see um knight of wands energy this person almost turned their back on this love and rushed towards passion instead of rushing towards what was in their heart this person also could be a bit emotionally immature and manipulative so that is past energy um here and closed off with their emotions with the king yeah um i got the will of fortune here again this card Similar cards came out for Pisces. You could be dealing with the Pisces. Um, I do see this person has changed. So the Wheel of Fortune creates that shift. So in the past, when this person was playboy, emotionally immature, manipulative, really out for their own selves, I'm surprised the Emperor has not came out yet, closed off, guarded by their emotions. This has actually changed here. This person has taken on some type of transformation. What is this? Two of Swords. Why is the Two of Swords here? Eight of Cups. Five of Wands. And Four of Pentacles. This person walked away or ran away because of fear. There was a lot of fear here. Could have been commitment fear, getting a fear of making a choice, fear of conflict, arguing, or them walking away caused a lot of arguments here okay what happened between y'all other than the fact that this person was a playboy playgirl play entity what else happened third party possible third party situation with the three of wands justice here five of pentacles and the full card I'm getting this person could have relocated Virgo. They could have moved on with another person or moved to another place. Um, it's like I'm I'm getting there getting like negative karma for not taking a risk. Like they went towards something passionately and impulsively, but your karma, or at least you know, if this makes you feel good, is that this person's not happy. They feel very left out in the cold. They feel dumb for making this choice. They feel like they, they almost, they feel defeated. They feel like they're very 
distance, distant from what makes them happy because of the choices they made in the past to play around and to not invest in you. All right. So what? Let's see how this person feels about you. How does this person feel about Virgo and the current energy? How does this person feel about Virgo and the current energy? We got the Ten of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles. A lot of money. whole lot of money in this month. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. And the Six of Cups. So Virgo, this person sees you kind of like they could have had everything with you. That Ten of Pentacles is like the joining of two things to create abundance, specifically a family vibe. You see how the butterfly has that little home below it here. Green is one of my favorite colors as a Virgo. It does represent life, vitality, abundance. Something's growing, something's nourished, something is um, successful here. Uh, let's see here. They want to work on you, work on you. Maybe they want to work on you. Work, 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 work. <laughs> anyway, uh, they want to work on this. Uh, they see you as someone that is very abundant. They almost see you as someone who is above them, someone that they can learn from, someone that they admire here, which I like that. Um, and then with the Six of Cups energy, they are very nostalgic. They think about the past. They think about how they ran away with some of your hopes, wishes, and dreams, like they know how much you meant to, they meant to you and vice versa, but it's almost like whatever dream you have with this person, Virgo, they kind of ran away and took, took that dream with them. Okay, then let's see how you feel about this person, Virgo. How do you feel about this person? I don't like that. That made my heart full of something type of way. You ran off with this person's dreams. How dare you? Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> We got the six of swords with how you feel, two of cups, that mutual love, mutual unconditional love and a soul connection that lasts even on the other side when you are no longer here. That's a super deep connection that you feel like you have with this person. Have the chariot here and the ten of wands. Okay, so you... I think you have came up with an equation of life that does not include this person that makes you happy. Now, that doesn't mean that that is what you prefer. I kind of get the energy of that's what it has to be because this person did not move forward towards you, even though that is what you wanted. We got the Ten of Wands. You feel like it's still it's very burdensome to have faith in this situation here. Four of Wands. But deep down, this person, Hierophant, is like your family. Six of Pentacles, yeah. <sighs> Part of you still wants to flip this, flip this and reverse it and fix it. That's what I'm getting in the energy here. Again, this might be like the only person that you saw yourself with in the future, like the only person you've ever wanted a family dynamic with, the only person you wanted stability with. All right, what about the mutual energy? What's going on between you two and the mutual energy, Virgo? Four of Swords, Eight of Swords, and the Lovers. See that? Let me, let me, the Lovers and the Mutual Energy. Okay. And the Emperor. So the Empress came out in the very beginning. The Emperor. I'm getting this is going on for a while. This has been going on for a while. I think, Virgo, you are always the empress. Um, I think this person has just now started to work and get into their emperor energy um, and the mutual energy. I do see that there is a break. There's no communication currently. Um, you both are very trapped in your head about each other. Like, you know that there is a connection here. Again, you're not communicating, but you're both trapped in the head about this. Queen of Wands. Queen of Cups. Look at that. Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups. So not only is there unconditional passion, desire, there's also unconditional love here in this connection. And the high priestess. Again, you could be dealing with a Pisces. 
All right. What about outcome? What's the most likely outcome? I haven't used any clarifiers, which is amazing. Most likely outcome between Virgo and this person. I was going to say Virgo and this Pisces. So, okay. <laughs> I see the three of cups energy, four of cups, and the star card. So it's a wish for you all to come together and have fun. Um, feel like somebody, no matter if it's you or the other person, is going back and forth. Like one person is like, no, we can go have fun. We can revive this. We can bring this back. And then that same person then thinks about the emotional weight of it and starts to feel regretful. It's like, like no, we can try it. No, like it hurt my heart. No, it hurt this person. And I'm just going to sit in pity and sadness and not take any um, any type of action towards this, but I'm going to pray about it. And I'm going to hope that the spirit and the divine with this star energy could be done with Aquarius brings this love to me, even though I'm not putting any work towards it. Somebody's trying to manifest you without putting in action. Lazy ass. That's not how this works, but someone's trying it. All right. What about advice? Advice for Virgo in this situation. Hangman. Hmm. More Pisces energy. Seven of Cups, King of Cups, look at that, and the Strength card. So right now your advice is to chill, keep your options open. Um, you need to wait for this person to man up, woman up, entity up to come towards you. Um, I feel that I got really heavily that it's, this is this person's time. It's not time for you to step up. I get strongly you we're open, you communicated, you were vulnerable, all of this in the past. Is this person to step up and step in? Is this person's chance to channel that energy um, and, and step up, tackle their fears, tackle their issues, tackle their, their demons specifically here and step up? You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. So in the meantime, you want to know that anywhere you put your focus is going to grow. You know this. Remind yourself of this, that any cup you pick, any cup you invest in will grow, not just this one, but another one. And maybe that's something that you're learning because I see you looking at these other cups with like, look at how, look at how this changed by me putting my love into this. Look at how this changed by me putting my love and energy into this. You have realized how magical and how special you really are. And because of this, you are not going towards this person. This person has a lot of secrets as well. One of the main secrets is that they want that old thing back. <laughs> you are their secret that they want that old thing back. All right, Virgo, this is your story. They want that old thing back. Um, you're waiting, waiting them out, but you're not stopping your life. You, you know what's meant for you will come to you.